All right, hello, hello. Welcome to Heal and Ascend to Row. So I hope everyone is doing well. Today is going to be your general love reading. So let's find out what is going on with you and the person on your mind. All right, so let's take a look and see. All right, if you want to book something personal, my information is down below in the description box. I also have a twin flame course, a self-love course, and guided meditation. Okay. All right, so let's take a look and see what is the current status of this connection. So what is going on with you and the person on your mind? We have the Four of Cups. Okay. So I feel like there's not a whole lot going on between you and this person. Someone could be feeling rejected here. There's a sense of boredom as well. Okay, If you notice the imagery of this woman here, she looks very dissatisfied. All right, so currently I don't think there's much going on between you and this person. There could not, there may be, sorry, there might not be a lot of movement between the two of you. Maybe there's not any communication. Let's take a look at their energy towards you. What's your person's energy towards you? Okay, yeah, because I see this person isn't really giving to the situation right now because they're scared. We have the tower in reverse with the six of pentacles in reverse. This person is almost trying to prevent some sort of a disaster or some sort of tower moment. Um, so they're not giving to you because there's a fear. We'll take a look at what this tower reverse represents for them. Why is the tower reverse? The ace of cups in reverse. So this is more about them struggling to face their emotions, okay? So if they're not giving to the situation right now, it really is because they're trying to keep their emotions stuffed down. They're trying to repress or suppress. Um, so the fear is more about them having to face their emotions if they were to give to the situation. So a lot of them are not giving to you right now because they're, they're afraid of feeling their, their emotions or feeling their feelings right now. What's your energy towards them? What's your energy towards your person? What is your energy towards your person? Yeah, the King of Cups in reverse. Some of you guys, this could be, you could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or your person could be, all right? Um, yeah. Look at this. So we have the King of Cups in reverse with the Eight of Cups. So I feel like for a lot of you, it's almost like you were aware that this person wasn't opening up emotionally to you. Um, you might have also felt like this person was very emotionally unavailable or they just weren't giving to you emotionally, which is what we're seeing here. Um, so I see that your current energy is you've walked away from the situation. Okay. We have the Eight of Cups, and specifically in this Eight of Cups, it is actually a woman who's walking away as well, okay? So representing more of a feminine energy. Keep in mind, gender doesn't matter, um, but for the purposes of reading, it does help me as a reader to pick up on feminine and masculine energies, but it, the gender doesn't matter. Um, so I do feel like you guys have walked away from this situation because you're aware that it wasn't giving you that emotional fulfillment or you know that this person is just emotionally unavailable or wasn't opening up to you. And I feel like currently, and this is probably why the Four of Cups is the overall energy because there's a sense of like not getting what you want, feeling dissatisfied, um, feeling bored almost with the emotional offer because there's not really any emotional offer coming through here. <clears throat> Um, and so the reason why, so what's interesting is like the reason why your person isn't giving to you is because they're afraid to face these feelings. A lot of them are just stuffing them down or pushing them to the side for right now. Okay. Um, so let's take a look at the current challenge. Although I think that is the main challenge, but let's see what's the current challenge with this connection spirit. What's the current challenge with this connection? Yeah. So it really is, well, it could be two things. We have temperance here. So the challenge could be just timing, patience. Um, but the other thing is about finding emotional balance, okay? So there needs to be more emotional balance in this situation. Let's go ahead and take a look at their intentions towards you, okay? Um, some of you guys could be dealing with a uh, Sagittarius, okay? Let's take a look. So what are their current intentions towards you? What are their current intentions towards you? We have the Ace of Swords in reverse, okay? So this person is not being honest right now. All right, they're not ready to be honest with you. Let's clarify this. Oh, we have the three of cups. Okay. Hmm. All right, so for a lot of you guys, this person, they haven't been honest with you or they're not being honest with you about someone else. We have the ace of swords in reverse with the three of cups. So I don't know if you guys are aware of this or not. We have the Ace of Swords reverse the Three of Cups. So to me, this is looking like someone who whose intentions are to not be honest about a third party. So just 
forewarning. Maybe some of you guys know this. Maybe this is why you walked away. Maybe you could sense that there was something else going on here. And that's why they're emotionally unavailable. But I feel like their intentions right now is to not be honest with you. And it does look like there could be someone else involved here. Whether it's someone they're currently with or someone that they're just connected to energetically still. But I feel like they're not being honest with you about that. Okay. Let's take a look at your intentions. What are your intentions? So you're wanting to communicate. You guys might be communicating. We have a Knight of Swords. So even if you did walk away, I'm seeing that your intentions are to communicate. Um, I don't know if you're going to act on these intentions, but there's a desire here to communicate with this person. Okay. All I'm going to say is just be a little bit cautious because I feel like this person is not coming through as being very um, honest with you right now. And if, I don't know if you know about this third party, but it does look like we have a lack of honesty regarding a third party. Let's see where this connection is heading. Where is this connection heading? We have the two of pentacles, so it's still kind of up in the air in the near future. We have the devil and the ace of wands in reverse. I'm, you know what I'm getting with this connection? Um, and I don't know if this has already been this way, but what it's telling me that the near future is between the two of you is it's going to be on again, okay? So I feel like this is this is a connection that is up in the air, but I feel like there's going to be some sort of a start between you and this person. We have the devil here as well, so I feel like there could be a lot of attraction between you and this person. There could be a very unhealthy component to this connection, though, I do have to say with the devil. We have the ace of wands in reverse. This is telling me it's very hot and cold, very on and off. So I feel like in the near future, if it's been off, there's a possibility for it to be on again, but then it might just be off just as fast. So this to me looks like something that you're very drawn to with the devil. Okay, with this coming through, this could be someone that you're very heavily attached to, someone that you're very drawn to. This person sucks you in is what I'm hearing. Um, but I'm getting it being very hot and cold, very on and off, up in the air. But... I'm seeing like a, I'm seeing this person coming back around or you guys coming back together in some fashion. I don't know if it's them coming towards you or you going towards them because you are the Knight of Swords. But I'm seeing this starting back up again, but it's going to be very hot and cold, very inconsistent is what it's telling me. Let's take a look how this person is feeling. All right, how your person is currently feeling about you. How does your person currently feel? Some of you guys could be a Capricorn or dealing with a Capricorn. Okay. Yeah, so this person right now is depressed. Okay. Um, so that could be the, you know, makes sense actually. Because typically if I get like the Ace of Cups reversed in a reading, this is someone who's suppressing their feelings. And suppression leads to depression, right? So this person's really not in the best place right now is what I'm getting. They're very, it says here, empty, numb, and withdrawn. So this person doesn't really have a whole lot to offer you. And that could be why the devil's coming through here. Just as a little bit of a warning that this, this situation right now might not be the healthiest. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that it never will be, but the energy that's coming through right now is there is some sort of toxic component to the situation. Some of you guys, it's like you walked away because you know that this person was emotionally unavailable. They are depressed. They are going through some sort of depression. They're not in a good emotional space. The challenge, like I said, was there needs to be emotional balance here. We have the temperance card. Um, so for a lot of you guys, you might be trying to get something out of this person that they just don't have to give you right now because they are quite empty. Um, and this could be what's causing them to act very dishonest. Again, not excuses, but this could be what's causing them to act in this very like dishonest energy. Um, I do see that they could be involved with someone else or there's a third party involved here with the Three of Cups. Okay, let's clarify this. Why is depressed coming through for this person? Why is depressed coming through for this person? So a lot of them are dealing with some major insecurities right now, okay? We have the judgment card in reverse, so they're feeling very insecure, and they're feeling very depressed. Um, let's see, what is the advice for my viewers? So my viewers dealing with this person right now, what is the advice for them? What is the advice? We have the Knight of Cups. There could be someone new coming in for you guys, let me clarify this. Yes, the star. We have the Knight of Cups and the star. Right away when I when I saw this card here, I'm hearing, and I don't know if you guys are going to be open to this, but I'm hearing that there could be someone new coming in. Um, could also be a water sign if this person was, because we did have the King of Cups here. 
Um, so the person that you were dealing with could have been a water sign, but I see that there could be someone new coming in who's also a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or has a lot of water in their chart. I feel like this person is someone that you've kind of been wishing for or waiting for. This is the kind of person that comes in that sort of makes you question the others, okay? We have a star here with the Knight of Cups. So I feel like there's someone new coming in for you that you're going to think, how did I create this? Like this is kind of more than I was picturing or more than I was imagining. Um, because sometimes our ego can get fixated on like one person and the it's like your soul has like a huge plan for you. <clears throat> Excuse me, your soul has a huge plan for you and sometimes your soul can see um, more than you can see and can envision something greater than you can envision. So for a lot of you guys, if you did walk away from this unfulfilling situation or if you did walk away from an emotionally unavailable person, I'm seeing someone new coming in for you, okay? So there's a call to really ask yourself, do I want to engage with this energy again? Because I see that in the near future, there's a possibility that there could be um, this person coming back around or you guys could be starting things up again, like the hot and cold cycle is what I'm seeing here. Or there's a possibility for you to um, have something new with someone who I feel like you're going to be very, like this person, you're not going to miss this person. Like you're not going to like not see them. You're not going to not, this person's going to show up and you're going to be blown away is what I'm hearing with the Knight of Cups and the Star. Like this is someone that you didn't even know you wanted, but you, you now know you want. <laughs> or it's like when they come around, you're going to be like, yes, this is what I've been waiting for, but I didn't realize that this is what I've been waiting for essentially. Okay, I do feel like this person's really going to um, impress you, is what I'm getting. I feel like this will be someone who is very romantic, is very charming. They might be a little bit younger than you for some of you guys, or there could be an age difference, so it could be either or. Maybe they're a little bit older, a little bit younger, but I do feel like there's going to be a, a little bit of an age difference between you and this person. Um, but I am seeing that this is something that you've been kind of, kind of waiting for. Okay, so keep in mind, as I read tarot, these are these are opportunities presenting themselves to you. Do you have to take the opportunities? Absolutely not. But for those of you who have been dealing with an unfulfilling situation where it's been hot and cold, back and forth, and you're not really getting that fulfillment, um, a lot of this has to do with this person that you've been dealing with has a lot of insecurities that maybe they haven't expressed to you. They have a lot of fears. They have a tendency to stuff their emotions down. And because of that, they're in a very depressed place and could be engaged with a third party and not being honest with you. Um, and so for a lot of you guys, like I said, I do think you walked away from this situation, but some of you are thinking about returning to this person, but I'm seeing here, if you're patient, um, there is a new person coming in that's going to fulfill you. Like that's going to create emotional fulfillment. You're not going to feel like this. You're not going to be this four of cups energy that you've been in with this current person. Okay. So that's what I'm getting there for you guys. So I do truly hope that this reading was helpful. Um, if you want to book another reading in the near future, please feel free to. I do offer, um, oh, sorry. I was just about, I was doing my spiel for my personal readings. If you guys want to book in a personal reading, um, all of my information is down below in the description box. I also offer Twin Flame um, courses and a self-love course and guided meditations. All right, but I'm sending you absolute love and light and I wish you all of the best on your journeys. Take care.